Analytic trigonometry, number nine, verify the identity. So we have this identity to verify one over one minus cosine alpha plus one over one plus cosine alpha is equal to two cosecant squared alpha. And, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Um, I think I know what I'm gonna do here. So remember, uh, start off with this, that we're gonna, ha we have to prove this identity over here, right? So this is two cosecant squared alpha, right? So we're not gonna mess with this. We're gonna convert, right? We're gonna transform this side into this side. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna get common denominators here. So I'm gonna add this. I'm, I'm gonna multiply this one by one using one minus cosine alpha over one minus cosine alpha. Can you see that? Because I want this denominator to be over here also. So that's how I'd get that one there. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna multiply this side by one plus cosine alpha over one plus cosine alpha. And if I'm sure you've realized that I'm just multiplying by one, but that is my explanation. So when I multiply this, I'm gonna multiply one plus cosine alpha times one, which is just one plus cosine alpha. This plus sign is this one. So what positive one times one is plus one and one times negative cosine alpha is negative cosine alpha. Um, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna multiply these two. When I multiply these two, a lot of times I won't multiply them. I'll just bring them in like they are as their factors, but this works out because this is difference of squares. And it will give me, if you foil this, right? If you do your foil here, you'll get one minus cosine squared alpha. Right? And then remember, of course, that we're trying, we're continually trying to prove that all this crap on the left-hand side is equal to the stuff on the right-hand side. And remember, please, that we're not supposed to change both sides. So I chose the side that I was going to change. Um, and then I'm just going to do some addition here. Here we have positive cosine alpha, don't we? And over here we have negative cosine alpha. And positive cosine alpha minus cosine alpha is zero. And then we have one, we have one here, don't we? So we have one here and positive one here. And my argument is I think it's this two. So it's two over one minus cosine squared alpha. And we're continually trying to prove that this whole thing is equal to that, right? Okay, so now what I'm doing is, and if you're in my class, I'm on page 377 somewhere of a Swakowski Cole. And I just gonna take this trig identity that I know the sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to one. And I know that if I so solve for sine squared theta, well then sine squared theta, just doing simple algebra here is one minus cosine squared theta. Why do I care about that? Because I know that this is cosecant and this S reminds me that it's one over sine. So I'm gonna t make a replacement piece for this and I'm gonna take this piece right here, which is this piece right here, and I'm gonna swap that out for sine squared theta. So here's my two, two over, and instead of writing in one minus cosine squared theta, I'm gonna take its equivalent part, which is sine squared theta, sine squared theta. And now remember, we're trying to prove that this is equal to two cosecant squared. Oh God, sorry, I, I know I said theta, I should have said alpha here because, and alpha again, of course you probably know, is just another angular measure, so it's just our variable, it's our argument here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this two out here, I'm gonna bring this two out to here times one over sine squared theta. And we know that, look, we can take this out here, the squared out here, and put it here, don't we? And one over sine theta is cosecant theta, isn't it? This is one of our reciprocal identities here. So we have two cosecant alpha squared, and we know that that goes right into there, doesn't it? So I think we've proven this identity. This is a pain in the neck sometimes. Remember, the only way to get really good at this is to continually do it, and we prove this, okay? And if you want to know, right, this is a reciprocal identity, isn't it? Reciprocal ID. Good work.